It's time once again for Dirty Story Night, and now we are up to the second place finisher in Bible Month. That is Wooz, who was the first place finisher two months ago in Monster Month. So his voice will sound familiar. Uh, not part of the Radio Hour troupe, but a good friend of the network and the people involved. So we're glad he returned just to hang out and compete in our Dirty Story Night. Speaking of network, Dirty Story Night is part of IABD Presents. That's It's All Been Done Presents. You can check out IABDPresents.com for all of our podcast, network, video, and more. This week, the program I'd like to highlight is The Oscars Are My Super Bowl. That is the movie discussion podcast by Amanda Iman where she talks about movies that are coming out. It's also awards season, as I'm sure you've noticed, the Oscars just recently passed, so you can get her take on special episodes uh, about the Oscars, because that is, like, her favorite thing, hence the name, The Oscars Are My Super Bowl. Wooz has been a frequent guest, as well as some of the other people involved in Dirty Story Night. So head on over to ibdpresents.com, find The Oscars Are My Super Bowl. You can also search that on iTunes and rate and review it as well, which would be helpful. So... Without further ado, now please enjoy Wooz's Dirty Story Night entry for Bible Month. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> it. <clears throat> it's been a while for Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> he and his boyfriend had broken up a couple weeks before, and, you know, it's hard to get back up on that camel. But tonight was going to be the night. He put on his hot pants and decided, God damn it, I'm going down to Sodom. <laughs> or is it Sodom? Shit, he didn't care. He was headed there. He heads on down. He hears it. The music pumping, pumping, pumping. Goes in, gets his usual drinks. Gin, vodka, tequila, all together. It's one drink. He hadn't come up with a name for it yet other than the Sleepy camel. Uh, <laughs> so he spent some time at the bar checking out the scene, who's out there. A lot of the regulars, a lot of exes, and by exes, one night stands. Then he made his way on the dance floor, bumping and grinding. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. But it's the same old stuff. And then he saw him. Standing against the wall. The entire wall. <laughs> he made his way over there. The guy was standing there. For some reason with a giant supersized water in his hand. <laughs> which made him all that much more interesting. He said, hey, my name's Jonah. What's yours? Whale. You want to dance? I thought you'd never ask. So it was more of the same bump. Mm, 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 mm. And what started out as just the usual bump and grind got a little crazier when all of a sudden Jonah felt something bumping up against him the size of a Toyota Camry. <laughs> this was a night for Jonah to be choosy. And He'd always been a bit of a size queen, but holy shit. <laughs> this thing was huge. Before I could even finish that thought, Whale was like, let's take this to the next level. So he dragged Jonah to the bathroom. And before Jonah could even say, hey, somebody might walk in, Whale shut the door with his dorsal fin or tail, whatever. <laughs> it's just you and me now. I'm still in here. Then he opened it over with his tail, flipped that guy out, and then it was just them. <laughs> Whale took Jonah's hot pants off. Now Jonah was like, ready to go. Like, yeah, let's freaking do this. It's been, it's been a while for me. But it's a whale. How is that mouth going to work on my, you know, Granted, above average, but uh, not in the whale world, penis. But then, whale rolled out his giant tongue with so many sensitive, sensitive parts. Wrapping it around Jonah's member, back and forth, in and around, 
even uh, visiting the stepchildren. <laughs> Jonah cried out, oh God, I hope God will dig that. That's not in vain. That's not in vain. If, if God was getting this blowjob, he'd be saying, oh me, oh me. <laughs> then he thought, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. And Whale was like, who the fuck are you talking about? I don't know, but I feel like that's a big deal. <laughs> and then, holy shit. I, I, whatever. Shit. Can that be holy? I don't know, but it worked in the instance. And then just as Jonah didn't think it would get better, the whale backed off, took his tongue off, moved back, and put Jonah's member in the blowhole. There's a reason it's called a blowhole, people. <laughs> Jonah had never been in such a tight, wet, sucking, welcoming hole. And he, he was thinking about all these things he could think of to not come too fast, but it was like, what the fuck? It's a whale. And just as he thought he was going to release the blowhole, the whale pulled him out of the blowhole. And at that point, put him in his mouth. And that is when the whale swallowed Jonah. <laughs> and just as Jonah was awaking from that trembling, amazing orgasm, the whale said, now it's my turn. <laughs> That's it.